Okay, we're recording. It's about to share. Everyone right. just turn their turn their cameras off. <laughs> so um, that was great. about to share screen. Support. We're now going to attempt <laughs> to do lab as best we can. My goal is the goal that we've always had for lab: do it really, really fast. Help you guys get all the right answers and make sure we learn a little something along the way. All right. Now, one thing I I almost forgot about is this lab requires tracing paper. And I was panicking because I didn't have any tracing paper, but I actually found some tracing paper on another assignment for another lab and I ripped a piece off. I'm guessing that if you guys are like me, you probably don't have a lot of tracing paper at home. And that's fine. Uh, you're, the two complicated things you need for this lab besides the handout are, hold on a second. You need a compass, which I stole from the lab. And you need a ruler, which I stole from the lab. And you need a piece of tracing paper, which I blessfully managed to find. If you have all these things for some reason, then dope. You can kind of follow along with me. But if you don't have all these things, that's fine too. I just printed out the two data sheets. And I will, I will be your hands. I will do the measuring. And we can kind of just watch me measure together. And we can all write down the values together. There is a cool part where we're supposed to draw the, the sunspots and using the compass was supposed to be a part of the, the, the pleasure and the process of learning how to do this lab. Learning to work with these tools, they are tools, is, is part of the fun. So I think unless you have a compass, you're gonna miss out on that and I feel bad. But if you do have a compass, get all those things. Now, um, <clears throat> I'd like to work over here on this little desk that I have set up. And I, I think the best way to do that is for me to share my iPhone with you and to sort of point the iPhone at the page while I'm doing the work. Uh, I need to make sure that you guys can hear me. So let's do a little test. If I'm over here right now, can you guys hear me? Tell me yes or no. Yeah. Yes. 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 So All right, clear. so you can yes. still hear me if I'm sitting at the desk. And that's yeah. good because my, my iPhone does not transmit sound. Uh, hold on, let me get a pencil and then we'll be ready to go. Yes. Oh, shut up. Bro, you're, you're, you're <laughs> very rude. Very rude. Uncalled for. You know what, Raph? I, no, I'm not going to lie. I, I miss you, buddy. I'm, I miss your voice. I'm going to mute myself and uh, just listen to the teacher now. Very responsible of you. Good job. All right, I got my pencil sharpened. Let's see how, let's see how we do this here. Um, you know what they say about sharpened pencils? Sharpened minds. Sharp pencils, sharp minds. Okay, I'm now going to share the screen with you. This is how I imagine doing this. I'm gonna share my iPhone and then, uh, Zoom be Britain. Okay. Let me click this button and let me go to there. Okay. Can you guys see what's happening through my phone? Yeah. yeah. Good yep. quality too. That's yeah, cool. it's better quality than the other one. All right. So you have a nice I, apartment. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. Very, I love the interior. It's a little messy wow, right now, but cool. Ooh, size. Size. a whole lot of books. <laughs> yeah. I'm into them books. He's uh, here, it's kind of a mess right now because you can see I've been trying to work on my wacky universe. All, there's my cart. Yeah. Anyways, thanks. It's nice to have you guys over for a change, you know? Uh, <laughs> sorry. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. What's for dinner? Uh, sunspots. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try to sit down and see if you guys can I'll, follow along with me here. Well, I think I missed the part. How, am I, how do we do the sheet? How do you do what? The, Hold on a second. The, the Let me sheet. unplug my GoPro from the computer. And I'm going to I'm going to sort of push this around here. Whoa. Okay. Now, can you guys still see the little box up in the corner there where I'm talking? Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. So now you can kind of see two views of me doing my thing. Um Let's go over here together and let's talk about the project. Can you hear me okay? 
Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So here we are doing our lab. Um, the goal of today's lab is to track sunspots. This is kind of a crappy um, image of them. Actually, hold on. I've got a slightly better version of this thing here. One sec. The goal for today's lab, and this is a real thing that astronomers do, is we measured the rotation of the sun by tracking sunspots as they rotate across the surface. Now, you will remember from today's lecture that the sun is actually a differential rotator, meaning it doesn't all rotate at the same rate. We're going to kind of ignore that, and we're going to try to get the rotation along the equator we already remember the answer to that question anyways. Do you guys remember what the rotation of the sun's equator was from today's lecture? 25 days. 25 days. That's what we're heading for. Now, we're going to track some sunspots as they move across the sun at two different latitudes. We're going to track an A spot that moves near the top of the sun, and we're going to track a B spot that moves near the bottom of the sun. Now, if you're trying this at home, kids, I want us to all use the same spots, and I'm going to show you which ones. Hold on. I want to go to gallery view while I'm doing this so I can see all your little faces. There we go. And now I can kind of, I'm just looking at everyone at home here. Okay. Uh, let me show you the spots that I want us to track. Oh, nice. An order update. GoPro Hero 8 Media. Let's hope I don't get any embarrassing text during this exercise. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, this is our first date, 725, but I want you to skip to the next one. This is the sunspot I want to track, starting right there. I'm going to track that one. That sunspot is this dark one here. I'm going to track that one. In the next frame, it moves over there. I'm going to track that one. I'm going to track that one. So this is six different observations of a sunspot in the lower hemisphere. We're going to call that the B spot. Okay, that's our B spot. Welcome to B spot. All right. Now we're going to track one of the next two frames in the northern hemisphere. On the first day, on eight, oops, eight, eight. I'm going to, I'm going to start with that spot there. That spot there becomes that one. Becomes that one. So now you guys can see which spots we're tracking. Capiche? This is our A spot. Now, I don't know if you recognize this, but one of the advantages of tracking spots at two different latitudes is if we average the rotation in the southern hemisphere, and the rotation in the northern hemisphere, that should exactly give us the rotation along the equator, correct? All right. Good. Now, I need to make a fake sun on my tracing paper that's exactly the same size as this sun here. And while I could try to freehand trace it, I want to use my tools. I want to use my ruler and my compass instead. So hold on, I've got some tape here. Let's see if the tape can kind of free up my hand. I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure in centimeters the diameter of my first sun. Wow, this is actually working way better than I thought it was going to. Uh, let me get some light over here. After analysis. Um, what do you guys get for the diameter? I get 54 centimeters. I'm sorry, 54, 54 millimeters. Is that what you get? That's what I'm saying. All right, Riker's with me. So Riker, if we divide 54 millimeters by two, that gives us a radius of? 27 millimeters. All right, so um, let's find, I'm just gonna find a blank piece of paper here. And I'm gonna make 27 millimeter tick marks. Hold on, let me see if I can get my iPhone. Oops. Sorry, my iPhone seems to have frozen. Guys, are you still, is my iPhone frozen or are you still? Yeah, I, I thought you were just holding it really still. No, no, no. Uh, 
It's frozen on the main it's screen. It's frozen. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. Let me figure this Our out. Our Lord and Savior. All right, uh, that's right. We shall not blaspheme in these times. Uh, let me share my screen again and see if I can share screen, iPhone. Okay, screen mirroring, Zoom be Britain. Okay, there we go. Bada boom, bada boom. All right, so we're live again, right? We're live in the Rhythm Hive. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna take Mr. Pencil here and I'm gonna make tick marks that are exactly 27 uh, millimeters apart. So here's a tick at zero. I'll try to make those ticks. And here's 27, I'll make a tick there. And that's what I'm going to set my compass to. That should be 27 millimeters. So I'll take my compass. You can see I've got my set screw here. This is kind of cool. I'll adjust my set screw for my compass. If we don't have um, like a compass and a ruler, should we be just like freehanding it as best as we can? Or you could just, well, you probably don't have tracing paper either. So you can just watch me as I do the lab. And when it comes down to write down, yeah. Try to freehand it, especially if you have a ruler. But more importantly, when it gets to the number section, you'll take down the numbers, okay? Okay. okay. I think the, the spirit is do whatever the hell you can at your house yeah. and record the numbers down with me and then submit that, and it'll be like we all did the lab together. You know what I mean? Yep. My ruler is only in inches. Sorry, Morgan? My ruler is only in inches. It's only in inches? Yeah. Dude, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some I random wooden ruler I just found. What's the conversion between inches and uh, centimeters? One centimeter equals approximately 0. 0.394 inches. Wow. Or, I just knew that or one inch head. is about three, three and a half centimeters, right? Look. Oh, Look, I have. I, I think it's close my to notebook 0. has it. <laughs> My notebook has a conversion for centimeters. Here, to inches. One inch is equal to one to three point five centimeters. So I suppose you know what, Morgan, screw it. Just watch what I do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that's here, right. Here you can see I'm gonna set my compass equal to the radius of twenty seven millimeters, okay. Now, I'm gonna take my tracing paper. It always works nicely if you have a little bit of padding underneath it. And I'm gonna to try to make a circle for the sun. I'm gonna lean and I'm gonna spin. Look at that. Look at that beautiful circle. It makes it look so easy. I know. That's why they pay me the big bucks, kiddos. Okay, so here's our sun. Let's see if I actually did it right. Let's see if it lines up with our, our virtual sun here. Not too shabby, huh? Now, believe it or not, it's really That's easy right. to rotate the page. So I'm now going to trace over some registration tick marks. Oh, I like your moves there, Michael. Michael, you got some good moves. Okay, so um, I'm now going to trace my registration tick marks. The registration I tick marks are awesome. and drifting. I'm going to label that north. Uh, let's see here. This is east. Do you notice that east is backwards? That's, anyways. Well, now I do. <laughs> Counterclockwise is east in space, but I think the telescope might be reversing it as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to track each of my sunspots, but as I track them, I'm going to make sure to re register my tick marks first. And then I'm going to record the dates right next to them. So first I'm going to track, uh, hold on. Yes. Okay. So I'm registering my tick marks, okay? I'm going to track this sunspot there. And that's at a date of 727. So I'm going to put that right there. Now I'll move on to my next sunspot. Okay. And that's 7.30. 
And this is H1. Notice I have to record the dates next to each one. Next one spot, that's A3. And then my last one spot right there. That's um, eight, what is this? Eight, six. Okay, now that was my B spot, so I'm gonna label it B, all right? Now I'm gonna move on to my A spot. You guys still seeing this okay? Yep, yep. yeah. Yep. yep. I can't believe this is working, this is amazing. This is exactly yep. how I Modern technology. I'm just, around, I'm just running around trying to print out the, uh, the handout. That's okay, you've got some time, I'm just tracing spots. That's eight, eight. Cool. Nope. Yeah, yeah so like, I don't have a answer. Answer. So like, do I just like, I'm like a little confused. Say that. I said I have a, I don't have a printer. So like, I mean, I have Photoshop. Should I just like type in text where it needs to be? Yeah. Do you want to type stuff into Photoshop? That's fine. I'm doing All mine right. on Photoshop. Hold on. I'm frozen again. I've got to keep, every time my screen, sh uh, my screen kind of powers off then I, I lose my camera here. So let me share screen again. It, it froze right when you said, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> you know what happened is, you know how your screen kind of goes off after yeah, a while? Yeah, you, you can change that. Just tap the screen. Oh yeah, where can I do that? Help me. Uh, head into your settings. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, screen time. No, I think it's in general, right? Yeah, general. Uh, it might be in general. I don't know iPhone yeah, so well. It's in so. general. Well, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, All right, can, can any one of you whippersnap it? Hold on. Uh, hold on, scroll down. Oh, display and brightness. Oh, well, display and brightness. Display and brightness. Scroll down. Oh, um, yeah, auto -lock. Auto -lock. Never. 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 All right. Yay. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Went up. Went up the old man troubleshoot. <laughs> I am on 27% though, so I better do this lap fast. You have a lot of missed calls. Should we wait for you to finish tracing in order for us to copy it down onto what we have? Marcus, can you say that louder? I said, should we wait until you finish tracing to mark those sunspots in? Can you hear me? I can Whatever hear you. Whatever you want to do, pal. Uh, you know, you can just watch me do it. You can try to mark those sunspots if you want. You'll see what's about to happen. We're going to make some models of the sun with a compass, but hold on a second. Let what? me just get these down before my phone dies. 8-12. Move on here. I'm used to watching you guys do these labs. I'm not used to doing them myself. This is kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying. I, I just heard some inappropriate first. language from somewhere. Yeah, same. <laughs> My ears are ringing. Okay. So I've got my spots. That's 882. All right. So let's look at my spots here for a second. Can you guys see how they make kind of a smile there? Yeah. The sunspots seem like they're drifting yeah. in latitude. I'm now going to make a best fit line that cuts through the middle of the spots as best I can. So, let me down here. I want kind of equal numbers above and below, and I want my best fit uh, to be horizontal. Excuse me. So I'm going to make my best fit line like this. Hello, Kristen. Hi. No, they can see you. <laughs> That's okay, though. <laughs> I think so. The camera pointed that way. Oh, it's okay. I can see your hands. Sorry. <laughs> um, wait a second. 
Um, let me draw my next. Sorry, I was getting distracted on the set here. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, this is supposed to be professional work. Now. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. So here's my A spot and here's my B spot, okay? And now what I'm going to do, so <clears throat> hear me out. We are watching these spots rotate across the surface of the sun. In theory, what we'd like to do is just kind of watch a sunspot go around and come back, and then we'd know how long it takes for the sun to rotate. But the problem is, once the sunspot disappears behind the limb, it's gone, and you've got no idea which one it is when it comes back around again, especially because sunspots kind of morph over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a projection of these spots onto the surface radius of the sun, and I'm gonna to try to calculate a spot's angular velocity. That's degrees per day of sunspot rotation. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the line for my A spot. And it looks like if I'm measuring this right, unfortunately this ruler is kind of sucky. Let me see if I have a better uh, ruler without the... Uh, This happens to these rulers. You guys can see that the, the tick marks on them are a little bit worn down, which is bad for measurements. So it's nice to have, yeah, that one's a little bit nicer. The, the tick marks are all there, you can see that. So now I'm gonna try to measure. I'm gonna measure the length of my tick marks. I'm getting- 51, 51 millimeters. I'm going to push it, Riker, because of the thickness of the line, I'm actually going to say 52. All right. Uh, I don't know if you got 51, but it's just close enough to 52, and I know it'll be easier to choose 52. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my page. Here's where you guys can try to follow along, where it says uh, spot A. And that line was uh, 52. 52 centimeters. I'm going to make the line right here, right to the right of it, and I'm going to make it the exact same length. So 52 centimeters. And I'm going to mark the midpoint. Half of 50 is 25, so 26. 26. And I'm going to mark the midpoint with a vertical cross so I can't confuse it with a sunspot, okay? Now, this is going to be a projection of the surface of the sun. So watch my moves here. I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to set the radius so that it's equal to the radius here. It's actually pretty close. And I'm going to draw in just a semicircle. This is going to be a top-down view of the projection of the sun. Now, I need to transfer my spots from the A line onto this line. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use the pointy edge of my compass to poke through and make some little divots. Uh, that way I can figure out where my spots go. So here I go. I'm going to go dink, 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 dink. dink. All right. There we go. So let's see if we can make those spots now. So here's one, two. Basically, I'm just transferring the spots onto the line. Okay. I'm going to put the dates on next to them. This is 8-8, eight, 8-10, eight, 8-12, eight, eight, 8-14, 8-16, all right. Now I'm going to choose two spots to rotate up to the surface. That way I can track how many degrees they've rotated. I'm going to pick them on either side of the center. I don't want to go too close to the edge or too close to the middle. So I'm going to go with 810 and 816. Should we be um, writing this down? Is, we continue? You can yeah. try. Wait, is this... Is is this the measuring the focal length of lenses thing? No, we skipped a lab because I thought it would be cooler to do a lab related to the sun during our lecture on the sun. I'm going to try awesome to keep that. Spots. Spot. Is that okay? Was I not clear about that? I'm sorry, guys. I wanted us to do sunspots. Uh, 
No, I if you were, I missed class completely. That's okay. I was in the other chat. That's all right. Okay, look, can I, let, let me answer that other question that someone just asked. I know this drawing might be difficult for you guys because you may not have a compass, but you could make a line 52 centimeters long with a ruler. I mean, try to try to fake it till you make it, okay? He, spent, he spelled soldering wrong. Okay. Anyways, uh, fake it till you make it, okay? Sorry. I should tell my friend that he's texting my, my class right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. All right, what's up? What's up? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to trace two of my sunspots up to the surface. This is a top down view of the sun. And I'm going to try to figure out how many degrees my son's... Oh, shoot. We're going to need a compass for this. I forgot about that. I think I have one somewhere. All right. So I'm going to track from the center and make an angle to one of my sunspots. I'm going to extend it oh. way the hell out. Look how far out I extend that line. I'm going to extend this line. You can't see it anymore. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Low battery. There we go. Sorry. Okay, do you see how I took a ruler and I went not from a spot, but I went from the center to the projection, the surface projection of those two sunspots. Now I gotta get myself a compass here. I'm sorry, not a compass, I need a protractor. So let's see if I can find a protractor in here somewhere. I have to take one. Uh, I've got one in here somewhere. I think I might have one in my cart actually. I know Lucy wanted us to put the tick marks. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, sorry. I missed how close you want us to put each of the ticks, tick marks. Um, uh, which tick marks are you talking about exactly? All of them. I missed, like, are you separating them by a centimeter or a half a centimeter or? Um, wh whoever's talking, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. When you said, are you talking about the spots here? Yeah, ready? I'll show you. Yeah, thank you, Ellis. Ellis, can you bring it closer to the screen? Because you're still tiny. Sorry, I'm like tipping my computer upside down. <laughs> All right, hold on, wait, Ellis, let me, let me go to speaker view and let me magnify you. Uh, hold on. Well, just one second, Ellis. Okay. The tick mark should have followed where the sunspots were. Okay, I see. Yeah, oh, thank you, Riker. It, but I don't know what that is. Okay, I can tell. I can basically tell you where the sunspot should go. Let's do it with a ruler, okay? So, yeah. Alice, is your line fifty-two centimeters long? Yes. Did you put it just to the right of spot A in the same way that I did? Yes. Okay. The first spot is at two millimeters. Two millimeters. Okay. The second spot is at eight millimeters. The third spot is at 17 millimeters. The third spot is at 29 millimeters. The fourth spot is at 39 millimeters. And the fifth spot is at 47 millimeters. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Oh, don't forget, Ellis, to make mark the midpoint. Mark at the 26. midpoint. At, thank you, Riker, at 26. And do you notice how I made my midpoint look like a cross so I wouldn't confuse it with a spot? That's important. Yeah. All right, what were the first two? Uh... Questions? Where are the first two sunspots at? Sure. Um, the first two sunspots are at two millimeters and eight millimeters. But honestly, the ones that are the most important are the second sunspot and the, the fifth sunspot. Those are the two most important ones because those are the ones I'm tracking up. So the second one is at eight millimeters. 
So it just counts. All right, my printer ran out of ink. You can reproduce this on a page if you get really desperate. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Eight years oh, yeah. is right about there, right? Do you guys need a minute before I go forward? Uh, yeah. yeah. I know this is challenging to do at home. I figured you guys could just kind of wing it. I know it's not going to be perfect. It's not the same as us being in lab. But, oh, can I see that? Chris, Christian, uh, br bring it up close. Well, your semicircle looks like shit, but okay. <laughs> I'm trying my best for this, yo. That's okay, awesome. all right, okay. I'm giving you some. Mr. Britton, do we have to draw this? Um, I guess you don't have to, but it's kind of half the exercise, so why not try, right? What I'm, ta I'm taking. I mean, I don't have a ruler on me, so. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't you have any great at all in your in your apartment, like. Yo, this whole thing was freehanded at all, Lee. <laughs> freehanded then, yeah, freehanded. I know this is kind of screwed up. I mean, I'm switching from centimeters to inches, so. <coughs> Uh oh. Uh, no. Uh, I'm just uh -oh. Well. oh, why are you coughing? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. I, I am not. <laughs> you think you think you can catch it through the chat? I, I, no. I might leave. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, we definitely can. We definitely can. I'm just taking pictures as he goes, and I can upload it all together. Oh. That's pretty smart. What? That's pretty smart. I should have did that. That's Hey, if anybody has like a Discord, no. I can make like, I a Discord, Discord server. Discord. I have like I'm sorry, yeah, I, 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 mean, I, uh, I can make like a Discord server for anybody who has a Discord, so we can like share labs and stuff. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. We'll Discord, mine. Maybe you can put that into the chat the log. Chat. Do you want to put yeah. that into the chat log? Yeah. I'm yeah, I do need to change my Discord yeah, yeah. name though. It's like less than school appropriate. So like, give me like. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> you guys like my? Uh, I don't think we'll. Not anybody will judge your. your name. here. Does it look very astronomy like? It does. You look like a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> let me do some. Let me do some. Kristen said you're welcome because you got that. Book. Let me do some deep thoughts here. Hmm. Wait. Let me change my username on Discord too. Like what is my or... username on Discord? That's what's what's. Just I need to change my. Wow, I need oh, to change it's, it's my profile. <laughs> I don't know what All right, is. I'm gonna just. I'll drop my Discord, and you guys could just um add me and send me like a DM. Yeah. With yeah. Me. All right. Yeah, do it. I'm just gonna yeah, go for everyone's it. faces here. I can scroll through and see you all. Wait, can you still see me? And I'm on pause. Uh, I can't see you on pause. Uh, okay, cool. Because that's just probably a weird angle. That's like. It's fine. Okay. I'm just kind of checking out who's. For me, like, I can't see everyone all at once, so I'm just seeing who's here hanging out with us. Hi. Uh, pr pr professor, Brent, may, may I please use the restroom? <laughs> uh, only if you do it on camera. <laughs> Oh, wow. No. <laughs> well, the thing is, I would, but I actually have tape over my camera so the government can't see me. All right, okay, that's good. <laughs> hey, can we move on with this effing lab? I got whiskey to drink, you know? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You mean nice tape? Yeah. 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 I, I, closed, that I closed, closed anyway. all the bars on my birthday, Mr. Britton. Every oh, single oh, one. Where is that? Uh, on my 21st last... birthday, they closed all the bars. The How shelf? do I edit my name? All right. How do, you, how do I edit my name? Someone that's passes actually, that's better than any camera that you, you've shown us so far. But yeah, no, no, just right there. <laughs> that's really good. I I can see your your, your cavities. That's all. Her. Try using it. Oh, what? All right. Hey, I want to move forward here. I'm moving forward with the lab. Okay, let's. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do the B spot while I'm at it. So if anyone is still with me, follow along as I do the B spot. Okay, that's what I'm sure you're doing. Let's see, loop around you guys. I'm gonna vision like to my B spot. My B spot is exactly 50 millimeters long. I'm going to move this up here. How long? This looks cool. You can see it like 
They can see me there in the upper window and they can see my iPhone too. Okay, so do you see how it's 50 millimeters long? Yep. Half of that is 25, so I'll make my midpoint right here at 25. Uh, that doesn't look right to me. Let me check that again. Yeah, I guess so. It looks weird, but... Okay, let's get my compass out and set my compass to that radius. Okay. I'll draw my semicircle. Okay. I'll get rid of my hang nails here. Okay. And now we got to transfer our spots onto the line. So let's do that. So once again, we're going to poke through. Dink. 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 And dink. Okay. So there's my first. Oh. My bolo gets keep, keeps getting caught oh, over the table here. Okay. There's my third spot. And that's 727. There's my. Second spot. Next step. My third spot ended up right there. That's eight one. We will not use that one. There's my next one. That's eight three. And then here, eight six. Okay. So which two spots do you think we should use? We got to track two on either side of the center. 7.30 and 8.30. I agree full heartedly, Riker. You're right there with me. All right, I'm gonna track them up to the surface vertically, but no farther than the surface. Watch this trick. I'm gonna use the line of 27 to make sure I'm perpendicular. Okay, I'm gonna track it up to the surface. Boom. I to make sure I'm perpendicular. Now the sunspot needs to stop at the surface, but watch this. I'm gonna extend from the center way the hell out so I can measure this angle correctly. Find the intersection. You have to find the intersection right there where it meets the surface. Extend it way the hell out. Okay. It's time for us to learn uh, how to use our protractors here. So uh, it's time to measure the angle so we can know how many degrees the sunspot rotated across the surface of the sun. Now here I've got my protractor, okay? And I want you guys, not everyone knows how to use one. Boy, this thing is freaking filthy. Let me see if there's a, let me see if there's a better one. Hold on, this is dirty as hell. Yeah, I just want to see if I have another one. I understand what you're saying, but it does say on the website, do not hold. Wait. Okay, I found a cleaner one, or slightly cleaner anyways. So I'm going to put the center right at the vertex of an angle. That's the, that's the vertex of the angle right there. And I'm going to pin my pencil through the center, and I'm going to pin it and I'm going to spin it until zero degrees lines up with one of my arms. And then I'm going to clamp it down and I'm going to read the angle. What's that angle look like to you guys? Looks like 74. 73. 73. Yeah, 73. 73. Right here. 73 degrees, okay? Now let's measure the other one while we're at it. So I'll put this right there at the center. I'm gonna pin it and I'm gonna spin it until zero degrees lines up there. 
Okay, so let's Fifty-five. Yeah. I agree. Okay, now we need to come up with something called an angular velocity. An angular velocity is usually represented as a theta with a dot over it, and it's some number of degrees rotated per day. That way we can know how many degrees each sunspot rotates per day. So let's look at our time interval here. For our, for our A spot, it looks like we went from 810 to 816. So that's pretty simple, right? That should be uh, eight days. Everyone should be writing this, I'm sorry, eight days. Six, six. days, right? Y'all with me? Yep. Everybody should be writing that down. That's important. Interval is six days, gotcha. A spot. How are we going to get our angular velocity? Dimensional analysis. Maybe. Well, what are the units? Well, it went. What are the units of, of, of angular velocity? Degrees per day. Okay, so what do I do here? 73 degrees divided by 6 days. Sounds like an awesome idea. Let's keep three sig figs. Uh, Wait, 73 divided by what? 6. Six, gotcha. By six, what? Just like six or like yeah, six? So approximately 12.2 degrees per day. Good. Now, Riker, uh, let's ask an advanced question. Riker, why am I keeping three sig figs? How many sig figs should I keep? Two. What's the limiting precision? Of so, so it'd just be 12 degrees per day, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, just bear with me here because I'm asking a kind of complex question. You divided 73, which has two sig figs, by six, which has one sig fig. Shouldn't six be the limiting precision? One sig fig? Well, I don't think that's the limiting precision because I'm thinking about it carefully and I'm hoping that whatever nerd went and took these images of the sunspot did a really careful job of it and made sure to measure it not just at the same date, but on the same time every day. So I think the precision is more than six days because I think the difference between 810 and I'm assuming 816, I'm assuming that they were taken at the same time each day, like midnight. That means this actually has many higher degrees of precision because it's accurate down to the minute or maybe even the second. Naively, you would think that I could only keep two sig figs because of the 73 degrees, but I'm gonna take the average of these two numbers and I'm worried about rounding errors. So temporarily, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna keep one extra sig fig of precision and I'm gonna round it back to two sig figs at the end. Everyone got me? Yep. yep. That's thinking ahead. That's using your noodle, okay? All right, so let's get the next one. Um, I've got, it, oh shucks. I went from 7.30 to 8.3. How many days is that? Four. 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 Yeah, so 30, we got 30 to 31, right? That's one day. Yeah, I'd say about four days. One, two. That, that's a great observation. Good job. Thank you. All right. So for time, we'll write down four days. Sorry, I was doing that through my cell phone. Okay. So now we got to get our angular velocity, 55 degrees divided by four days. 13.75. Okay. 13.8. 13.8. Oh, and make sure you put your units down of degrees per day. Okay, we're almost done, kids. We're almost done. Oh, by the way, don't forget to put your name on the top. And your section is AS1020, whatever your section is, 001, 002, or night. Wait, is um, right will, will I get points taken off if it's free-handed? No, I'll understand. But Riker had a cool move, which was taking a photo of this thing. Wait, let me screenshot that real quick. Yep. Gotcha.
You know, want to screenshot the other one? Yeah, sure. Done. Okay, can you go back to the first one real quick, please? All right, good. It reminds well, me of the local sky. What's and, the uh, angle? One of these going to be due. Wait, what's that? Sorry. Uh, one of these going to be due. At least today. Ivy, you have to say that one more time. I missed it. Uh, one of these is going to be due. What did he do? One of these do. One of these do. Uh, just, I don't know. You might as well just do it today so you don't forget. But if you want to the end of the week, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Here's what I don't want. Do not send me all of your work the last day of class. Or I will delete your name from my grade book and forget that you have <laughs> oh, Okay. No. But so Ivy, I'm, I intentionally didn't put a due date on it because I wanted to give you some flexibility. But since we're going to have another lab due next week, we should probably get it done this week at some point, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. All right, we're almost done. Uh, we've got our two angular velocities, and we got to take the average of these two. So let's average of 12.2 degrees per day and 13.8 degrees per day. So I'll add them up and I'll divide by two. Bear with me here. 13. Oh, 13.0, that's convenient. Okay, so now go over to the, the other page. Forget about spot C, we ain't got time for that nonsense, okay? But let's go to our average angular velocity on the second page, okay? And we're gonna write down 13.0 degrees per day. Now, imagine that we can make a little analogy together. So hold on, I need a circle maker for this. We're trying to watch a sunspot go around the sun, correct? Yeah. Yes. All right, so allow me to draw the sun here. Let's think about this. So here's our sun. Okay, I'll fix it in a second. Okay. So if my sunspot starts here and it goes all the way around the sun, it's going to rotate through 360 degrees, correct? Yeah. And yeah. it will go 360 degrees in some period, which is going to turn out to be the synodic period. In other words, the period of the sunspot is the time it takes to rotate 360 degrees. If you're going to ask me why it's synodic, that's a good question. Remember that these images were taken from a moving Earth. So we've been tracking the rotation of a sunspot as Earth is spinning and rotating. We're going to have to subtract out Earth's rotation. That's why it's a synodic period. But if the angular velocity stays the same, that should be equal to 13.0 degrees per one day. So we found an average angular velocity of 13.0 degrees in one day that should be equal to the synodic period. If we do a little barnyard algebra here, the synodic period then should be, let's put 13 degrees per day on the bottom and a uh, period of synodic on top. So we have 360 degrees divided by 13.0 degrees per day. This will help me figure out what the synodic period of rotation is. So I'll do 360 divided by 13.0, and that's 27.7 days. Write that down here. Now, unfortunately, Astronomy 1020 students, you did not learn about the difference between synodic and sidereal periods in your class. And uh, it's a little bit confusing to explain, but the synodic period is the time for a sunspot to rotate as seen from a moving Earth. If we want to know the real rotation of the sun, we want to know its sidereal rotation, which is the time for it to rotate with respect to the background stars. So for us to get the real rotation of the sun, we want to imagine that, that we're fixed in space like this camera and we're just watching the sun rotate. The problem is the sunspot rotation that we have is from a rotating Earth. 
So we're tracking the rotation of this spot, but we've been tracking it as we're rotating around the sun. We've got to subtract out the Earth's rotation. Like my jazzy use of this camera here, this is pretty fun. Okay, so I don't have time to get into the whole bloody thing. Read about it on the damned internet if you want. But here's the <laughs> conversion from synodic to sidereal period. The sidereal period of a planet with, with respect to the background star, of the sun with respect to the background stars is, let's see, it's, it's 365.25 days times the synodic period over 365.25 days plus the synodic period. And our synodic period was 27.3 days. So I'm going to do um, 365.25 days times 27.7 days all over 365.25 days plus 27.7 days. And I got to put the bottom in parentheses. All right, can you just leave that so I can get that picture? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so let's try to punch that in here on Mr. Calculator. So we'll do uh, 365.25 times 27.7 divided by open parentheses 365.25 plus 27.7. Close parentheses and then equals. Shit. I was hoping to two sig figs we'd get 25 days. But look. 26 days is our final answer. Well, it's not that bad. But we were hoping to get 25 days, weren't we? Yep. That's okay. We did a nice workmanlike job. Now look. If this had been normal lab, I would make, I'd say you're done, and I would make you turn in your tracing paper, this sheet with that stuff, and this sheet with that stuff. But you guys may not have had tracing paper, so that's okay. Here, take a shot of this one if you want to include it. Uh, let me get a white background for you. Um. I have a picture of everything for everybody who can get on that Discord server. I can send those images to everyone. Oh, you're awesome, Riker. Yeah, many hands help yeah. uh, help us go. Do you you. Need a, Riker, do you need a good picture? I just need nope, I got I got, I got a picture of it already. Oh, okay. Wait, what, Anthony? What, does anyone know that? This is the, the picture I have of the B. tracing paper. Okay. Wait, what? For B, the angle was 55 degrees. Thanks, buddy. You're the coolest. I've got everything captured. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so I think, let me, let me, uh, oh, can I flip this thing here? Flip. Okay. So I think we're done with lab, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Oh, do you guys want to see how to submit it? Do you know how to submit it? I believe so. Before On Blackboard, I know how. With a, with a Google Doc, right? Before you um, do that, can you go back to that last page where you had the synodic rotation period? Yeah. I need those. All right. What do you want to see? Ivy, I've already got you on Discord, so I can send all that to you. Perfect. Cool. You. Wait, when's that Discord meet? Uh, group that meet, meeting meet? I got a message, but I didn't read it yet. Um, I'm gonna try to make it like be like basically as soon as I get off. The latest it should be up is like tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right. Ivy, can you send me that through our Snapchat? Uh, yeah. Let me see if I still have it on my new phone. I did get a new phone. Okay. Is there anything I can do? Well, brag about it. New phone. Who did? Do you want us to retrace that, though, what you had on the smaller paper? Uh, the tracing paper? Yeah. Did you want us to pass that in, too? Well, look, I understand, Trish. I don't know what your abilities are. 
I'm, I'm waiting to see what you guys can, can do. If you want to take a snapshot of that, hold on. If you want to take a snapshot of that, include it as a printout, or if you want to try to trace it with a circle maker, hell, use a, a piece of tape to make a circle. Well, I guess it won't be the right diameter. Okay, so are we allowed to upload this to the, like, put the I'm sorry, say that, Chris? Can we upload it, like, uh, can we put the pictures in a Google document? And then upload the Google document to the Blackboard. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I I under, I, I imagine there's going to be a little bit of creativity of what people can actually get into me. Yeah. Get me something, okay? Make it look as good as you can. All right. I'll be I, curious. I sent you just about everything I can. Okay, cool. Um, by the way, let me just uh, e exit, stop uh, sharing my screen here for a second. Um, hold on, where's my mouse? Let me go, uh, just in case there's people out there in the studio audience who aren't chirping in that are, that are wondering about uh, uploading stuff. If I share my screen with you, uh, I should be able to go over to Blackboard. So this is our, this is our Sunspots lab here, right? 10 yeah. points possible. And I think you just browse your computer and you find your screenshot or your JPEG or whatever, and you just upload the documents. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. And by the way, I have yeah. a, grade, a grade center over here where I've put everyone's grades in. I haven't put the exam in yet, but I'll get around to that. And you can see here, I've got a grade book where I'm, I tried to put in your old grades, and we should be able to keep track of stuff as we go. That's what I'm hoping anyways. Blackboard's kind of annoying to use. So Sunspot's lab. Okay. Yeah, I think they should just give us all A's and like let us get our degree because it's free. <laughs> Honestly, they would they would love to do that. Yeah. I mean, pretty much that's what we are doing, but we're trying to make sure you feel like you got your your values worth, right? Like. Right. Yeah. Usually, oh, if if you learn awesome. nothing, you'll probably feel like you you didn't get a good a good experience. But. I know. At this point, I'm good. I can, I'm this good. Point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, I'll take the A, you know? <laughs> but like, yeah. All right. Learning so, good, too. Uh, I think we're done then, right? How's our time? We're right at 2 o'clock, too. So this went exactly according to plan. I can't believe it. Woo! Hey. Okay. Hey. So, um, for anyone who missed little bits of that, I have recorded both our lab and our lecture. And I will attempt to, uh, I'm going to attempt somehow to, to get all these videos up onto Blackboard, okay? So you should be able to watch them later. Or if you have friends that slept through and didn't get to see this, they should be able to watch the whole <laughs> bloody thing later on. Juju, cough, cough. Or if you were just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> where's Juju at, man? Yeah, where's Juju at? Juju, you letting us down. Oh, he was, sit he was sitting in that chat with me. Oh, I thought he was going to come over. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a pleasure seeing you guys. So we're going to do this again on Thursday. But, hey, let's talk about the plan for Thursday. We're going to have more lecture on the sun, okay? And then we're going to do our homework together just like we do in the conference room. Instead of our lab yeah, session, we're, all, we're going to solve those five problems together. Does that sound like a plan? Are the tutors going to be here too? Uh, originally, I, I talked about having the tutors here, but I don't know what's ethical to do. If I bring them over here, I don't know. Like Probably that. not, but I would love to get the tutors involved because I miss those guys. And I, I maybe we'll get them to participate in the video chat or something. I was gonna say get them yeah, on the video chat. It. Yeah. Yeah, I meant to do yeah, that I'm today, but I was kind of running behind when I sent you guys the link, so I, I didn't do my best this week. So uh in any case, uh, uh I guess I'm gonna sign I'm gonna stop the recording now.